Here we are at the World Science Fiction Con in Chicago, Illinois, and I have the beautiful ladies, Deanne Baker and Heather Dorf. Um, ladies, I would like to just start off by letting you introduce yourselves, what, uh, give me a little bit of your background, <laughs> rather than me trying to summarize it. Well, okay. Well, my name is Heather Dorf. I'm an indie actress, producer, writer. Um, I'm also a former computer science major. Um, I basically got into the whole uh, indie film acting scene in the last two years. Since then, I've been part of maybe about 30 projects. I've produced a few, um, written a few, and just basically kind of trying to continue that and expand my horizons and work with new people and some old, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Very cool. What about you, Deanne? Hey, I'm Deanne Baker. I co-host with her on a show called Filming Around Midtown. Uh, I compose, I act, and I pretend like I can edit. <laughs> she can. <laughs> Better than I can. Right? Oh, shucks, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and just been keeping busy in all three of those crew positions. Very cool. And what are, you, what are your current projects? What are you two currently working on? <laughs> oh, this is all on... <laughs> Um, well, like she, like she said, we currently do a show called Filming Around Midtown. We talk all Midwest indie films, and we do expand on that, um, events, and just general news. Um, aside from that, I'm a part of probably like seven or eight projects right now. I'm producing two. One is for um, someone I've worked with before, Andy Shatner from Afraid of Sunrise. We're actually working on our next feature. It's going to be kind of a comedy, dramatic film. Um, have some people lined up for it. They're pretty awesome. We're just basically working on budgeting right now, and I am producing that, and as well as starring in a, a half of it. Um, it's confusing. I'll ex you'll see. Anyways, <laughs> I'm also uh, producing a film called Yellow with uh, David A. Holcomb, and it's a um, uh, how do you say it? Giallo or so? Ah, it's it's basically a horror crime mystery uh, Italian style uh, film. So it should be pretty cool. He's a pretty amazing filmmaker and actor. So I'm excited for that. Other than that, I just have some few other uh, projects. I just recently filmed Corey Udler's uh, Ed uh, Gein. Gein. I just said it wrong. Ed Gein. DDS. Um, <laughs> kind of a little short film spinoff from his uh, Incest Death Squad character, um, and also obviously the, the the serial killer that was real. But anyways. <laughs> Moving on from that. You almost slapped the ass. <laughs> that wouldn't be the first time. Uh, hey. <laughs> you know her like the back of her hand. Um, other than that, I do have a few other random things going on. I'll be working with um, Muscle Wolf Productions, Travis Leg on Dry Spell, um, Patrick. Well, I don't know. Just tons of people. I have a few films and festivals right now. Um, there you go. That's pretty much it. Very cool. <laughs> and uh, um, so, uh, Deanne. What are your aspirations for the future? What are you going to be working on in the future? We want to be on the moon by 2014. Filming. Oh, we will be on the moon. <laughs> we will be on the moon. Yeah, totally. That's why All righty I'm then. in production for that right now. Uh, I'll be helping out on Dry Spell, which she mentioned earlier. It's a feature film by Travis Leg. Uh, I'll also be directing uh, something I've written called a it doesn't have a title to it, but it's a That's horror the web series. <laughs> yeah, right? It doesn't no have title. a title. <laughs> <laughs> um, composing for several short films, and uh, I have an editing job coming up for a short film called Jesus or Muhammad through Silk Road Rising. Oh. Check it. That's all I got. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who was that one by? Uh, Jesus or Muhammad? Yeah. Oh, it's by a writer named Jamil Corey. Oh yeah. Very cool. That's awesome. Well, I like to enter or enter end my interviews <laughs> uh, with a uh, uh, kind of a weird question. Should I start with you, Deanne, or should I start with Heather? You've been thinking that long. <laughs> <than this>, so. <laughs> so, Heather, tell me something weird and wonderful about yourself, or your your background, or your uh, uh, productions that your fans wouldn't know but would be loved love to hear about. <laughs> Oh man, there's a couple. They're pretty funny. I don't know how wonderful they are. Um, in regards to what they say, I guess this is sort of weird and wonderful. Um, like I said, it was my first producing effort, um, but it's won multiple awards directing, um, been nominated for cinematography, won Best Actress, Best Short, multiple times. But it was actually my second time ever being in a film. So, 
<laughs> Didn't tell anyone that at the time, and I haven't told really anyone that after, but it's an interesting thought anyways. Um, so that's kind of cool that it had so much success having not had much experience before that with doing anything. So, Very um, cool. Yeah, there you go. Very right. cool. Well, you said you had a couple. Oh, God. Okay, this is weird and not really wonderful. I don't know if I want to say this. <laughs> oh, man. Well, there's always editing. <laughs> well, you can decide. So the last film I did, um, they had hired a pretty new actor. And I mean, like, right off the boat. He had never done anything before, which is fine. You know, he's really nice. Um, during rehearsals, we had, like, a kissing scene, and he wanted to rehearse the kissing scene during rehearsals. And I was like, no, we don't really, you know, <laughs> don't really need to do that. And, um, yeah, there was just a few little awkward moments like that where he made some requests that they were inappropriate. I don't, I don't want to get too much into detail. But it was we just, might have a sex scene. Could we, like, work on that? Yeah, too? it was pretty much, believe it or not, that is right on the line of what happened. Oh, really? <laughs> And uh, Travis Lee was actually the director for it, and I just he just like went deadpan. It was hilarious, but um, yeah, it's a pretty funny uh, experience oh. that I'll honestly never forget. So there you go. <laughs> I, I remember a similar circumstance in uh, 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 at the Fright Night Film Festival when uh, we were outside the building and. Uh, oh God, oh. let's not talk about that. <laughs> What is not? No. That guy will come and murder me in my sleep. Let's not bring it up. Let's just say, you have interesting fans. Oh, yeah, she does. Oh, God. That was awful. So, back to you, Deanne. Uh -oh. uh, tell me something weird and wonderful that your fans wouldn't know about. Uh, I guess the best thing that I can probably talk about is some advice that I had received recently from a top-level person. I asked him uh, how how do I further myself in my career and, and is it by networking is it by this that the other thing he said date a producer <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> that is hilarious on for, so many levels for the for those of you who I don't know if this was actually heard on the uh, uh, tape but uh, Mark Stoleroff uh, producer of the uh, uh, world-renowned film Pig, or world-renowned producer Mark Stoleroff of the right. movie Pig, just <laughs> walked in and he said, "Well, it's worked for my girlfriends." And uh, <laughs> not all actresses, but some. <laughs> oh man! Oh, that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> so, uh, um, well, Mark, would you like to st step in on the interview since um, you're interview bombing? It's, it doesn't. It's, it's up to you. <laughs> Did you get I, an interview with him? Uh, I have in the past. Yeah, yeah, get yes. over here. You can talk about uh, it. Since Mark Stoleroff is interrupting Jeez. our interview, uh, let me uh, squeeze you in. Here, So Mark, uh, Mark is here uh, uh, at the uh, uh, <laughs> World Science Fiction Convention here in Chicago, also known as ShyCon number seven, WorldCon number uh, 70. 70. And uh, tell me, Mark, what are you doing here? Besides interview bombing. I am peddling, peddling my film, Pig, which I just found out, by the way. I went up to see Nat, who's running the film festival, and we won the best science fiction feature. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. They that just told nice. you. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, I don't know. I mean, he hasn't come, like officially announced it, but yeah, he told me that. So, so, so well, I won't put this out before. The, is that for tomorrow they're going to announce that? Um, I don't know. He, I think he's telling people that are coming to the festival. To make sure they're there. <laughs> yeah, he's like trying to plug the other films. And he said this one won uh, Best Sci-Fi. So yeah, he, he hasn't awesome. posted it up on the Facebook yet. But he's It'll gonna, be up by tomorrow night. He's got a little award and... Nice. Fantastic. Nice. Yeah, I was really happy about that. Congratulations. So. Um, awesome. I told you you got to come to the World Con. I, I make a point of coming to as many of these as I can. Yeah. I think that helps. World Con is... Uh, uh, anyhow. Um, so, Mark. <laughs> You've already told us something weird and wonderful that you already know in advance right. that you've won. Yeah, I won't do too much more of that. Well, I have a few of those kind of stories. <laughs> well, I, how about one? Just one. I don't think I uh, asked you that when we did your interview. Which, which kind of story? <laughs> something weird <laughs> and <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> kind of stories? I don't want to tell you those. So, something those weird scary. and wonderful, but not. Yeah. yeah. My so, first movie. So there was this girl the that you were stalking. I worked uh, on. <laughs> she was insane. No, I won't tell you that story. Know. Um. Uh, so, so ex no, exactly what kind of, what do you want me to say? Um, well, just tell us something weird and wonderful about uh, yourself that your fans wouldn't know, or about producing the movie Pig, or about... I don't know if I have any fans, but, 
You got three in this room. Exactly. Um, no, you guys are great. Um, let me think. Um, that was my first. My f my first job out of school was investment banking. Really? Yes. What bank? Or is uh, that? I was with Merrill Lynch Capital Markets. In Very cool. Um, and I had no interest in doing that. I didn't. I knew I didn't want to do that. It wasn't like oh, I did investment banking and then I did film. I I, I was a business major, but I snuck around in the film classes where I went to school and, and made films and I knew that's what I wanted to do but I was too chicken to do it so um, so and then I think my father said something like well you know what are you going to do when you get out of college I'm like I don't know and he's like well you're not going to be doing filming <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Really?" laughs> yeah, right. and he'd never told me anything like that so I didn't realize that he had this whole plan for me but um, so I it was a bunch of people were getting these kind of jobs but it was like the late 80s and um so I interviewed, and I figured I'd earn a couple of years' credit with my parents. It was like a two-year uh, financial analyst program. So Very cool. And then I got out of that fast. Mm -hmm. so. It's still the most money I've ever made. Um, it was like a million years ago, which was sad, but uh, how the film business works. But, uh, and you're still living off that, right? And, and I am, actually. I mean, I, I invested pretty much everything I made, so um, there's still a little bit left. So, oh, really? Know, cool. I'm impressed. Um, that was back, you know. It was a long time ago, but anyway. So I don't know if that's weird and wonderful or not. If it just well, be... I think it's cool. Yeah. See. You, you ladies, don't you think I it's impressive? Yeah, very nice. Uh, <laughs> there's a guy right here who still has money back in uh, from the eighties. Right? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking old money. It's old money. <laughs> that's great. Well, it's not that much though. That's <laughs> I but it's it old the, money. I wish it was the big money that people made in the 80s. It's, it's how you spend it. Though. Big yeah. money, yeah. old money. Uh, yeah, maybe you want big money. Yeah. But I, I, people make more money these days than they used to. So hmm. if I had done investment banking now, I would, I would have had that much more money. Yeah. Hmm. Makes sense. Well, thank you, Mark, for fo our interview bombing and Deanne and Heather. Uh, I really should have put you in the middle, but it just, uh, Mark, but... It just seemed wrong to put the thorn in the middle of the roses. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Uh, anyhow, from uh, ShyCon 7 in Chicago, Illinois, this has been The Weird Review. Thank you, folks, very much.